My name is David B. Delergio. I am the Director of Electrophysiology at Emory St. Joseph's Hospital in Atlanta, Georgia. The Converge study was needed to address a very important question of how do we treat persistent atrial fibrillation through ablation techniques. Up to the time Converge was published, there's very little data from which physicians can decide how to ablate patients with atrial fibrillation that has been persistent, which means lasting for more than seven days, or in the case of Converge, even sometimes lasting years. Current techniques suggest that encircling the pulmonary veins from the inside of the heart with ablation lesions is the best general way to do it. What we have been showing with Converge is that by adding epicardial left atrial posterior wall ablation, we have a more effective technique and we get superior results for ablation of atrial fibrillation. The Converge trial is a randomized controlled trial. It's a multi-center trial involving 27 sites in the US and the United Kingdom. It's a two to one randomization. Two out of every three patients receive the experimental arm, that's the convergent hybrid AF ablation procedure. And one out of every three were randomized to a standard endocardial ablation. After randomization and ablation, patients were followed up. There was a three month blanking period, which is standard for most AFib trials, and then results were tabulated out to one year where the primary efficacy endpoint was measured. Well, we found that by adding the posterior left atrial epicardial ablation lesions, we improved the outcome of freedom from atrial fibrillation atrial flutter or atrial tachycardia. Now, in the control arm, only 50% of patients were free of these arrhythmias at 12 months. In the converge arm, however, 67.7% .7 of patients were free from atrial arrhythmias. This absolute difference of 17.7% .7 is highly statistically significant. And also, it's a relative difference of 34.3%, which is a very large difference when it comes to improvement in freedom from atrial fibrillation. Well, we hope people will take a close look at this trial. We believe it shows that there is a superior method for treatment of persistent and longstanding persistent atrial fibrillation through ablation. We also show that the procedure is safe. There are relatively few adverse events related to the addition of the epicardial posterior wall ablation lesions. And physicians will have to incorporate this into their daily practices. They will be able to say, this type of patient is a good patient to get superior results with a convergent hybrid AF ablation procedure. Well, the Converge trial has opened up an important area. Up until the time of the Converge trial, it was unclear whether posterior wall ablation would add anything to standard ablation. We have now shown through a randomized controlled multicenter trial that posterior wall ablation is important and adds superiority to standard ablation for treatment with persistent atrial fibrillation. Future, um, research could be centered around improving the technique, improving the safety profile even more, and also other alternative techniques that involve closure of the left atrial appendage as an additional aspect of this procedure.